When I left home to move to Melbourne, I was ready to live somewhere, but I thought, you know, it was more interesting. I never thought I'd come back originally. After a year and a half in Melbourne, I went to Montreal. When I got to Montreal, though, I liked it much more than I thought I would. I decided that I would leave. So I went to Vancouver on the way back to Australia. Pretty much as soon as I arrived in Vancouver, I started to wonder if I'd made the right decision. staying in this house by myself like you know surrounded by all the trees and, and the forest and everything and that's when I wrote going home when I was sitting there by myself like in the dark because the house didn't have any power and so I was just kind of recording my voice through the laptop and layering it just as I went. Initial takes where you're not thinking you're like that's a cool idea let's get it down now mm, yeah it felt like th this is just pouring out of this dude. Coming back to Australia after that felt like hitting a brick wall. When I returned from Canada, there was a lot of things starting to happen here. You know, as soon as I got back, dealing with passings and, and people getting ill, and, and Melbourne was, was starting to kind of wear me down a little bit. At the end of that year, I came back home to visit for two weeks. Once I got back here, I, you know, I just decided not to leave. I looked at home in a different light when I got back. I was so ready to leave when I, when I moved to Melbourne the first time. And then after a few years away and coming back home again, it felt like exactly what I needed at that time. very uh, appropriate for me to sit down and start fleshing out all my ideas that I had written in that time. What I wanted to do initially with making an album was to, was to document myself musically and represent it in a body of work. And as I got going and I kept having all these ideas for things I wanted to do, one album just didn't seem, it didn't seem like I'd be able to encapsulate everything in one single album and it made more sense to separate things out and do five different albums. I made all these albums at the one time, in parallel, more or less, so for me, it feels like one project in five parts, effectively. A friend of mine, when I told him about the project initially, he said, you know, it's like having five windows in the same house. And I really like that because that feels very fitting. Oh. 